My name is Terry Pollack, um, formerly Terry Wheeler. Um, I graduated from the Art Institute in uh, 1996, um, and I've been working on my art for, you know, since then. Um, traveled it a little bit, um, but I've been in the area and working and showing and yeah, for since then, and I'm a member of the Kansas City Artist Coalition, and I've been on the board there for a few years now. <laughs> the Kansas City art scene is so supportive of each other, you know, and um, helpful, you know. The you know, when I was in school, it was like, I felt like there was like this competition, you know? And it's not like that at all. There is room for everybody, you know? And it's taken me a while to learn, it had taken me a while to learn that, but it's, Kansas City art scene is quite um, inclusive and supportive. And I think it's just gotten more and more so since then. So. Yeah, there's several. I mean, it's it's the Nelson, it's the Kemper, it's Charlotte Street, it's Inner Urban, it's Arts KC. I mean, there's just such a, a variety, you know, and they, most of them, you know, kind of work together a bit, you know, I mean, it's like, which is great, so. Yeah, I have a day job. <laughs> I work in an office. Um, I used to work several jobs, you know, but um, I just got one right now. And, um, and I make my art, so. I would like to transition that into a full-time thing at some point, you know, but I just uh, haven't taken that leap. I'm not super disciplined, <laughs> but um, I do try to spend, uh, you know, some time at studio, about, you know, at least three days a week, you know, get over there and, you know, do something or, you know, do something at home that's related to that, you know, draw, write, you know, read something, you know, um, think. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have a studio in the West Bottoms, um, and uh, it's it's great. I have like six or seven studio mates right now. It's an old warehouse, so <clears throat> not lots of uh, modern amenities there. So it gets uh, the temperatures, you know, are extremes, you know, and there's dust everywhere always. <laughs> well, yeah, we just keep moving about, don't we? Um, but yeah, the uh, the crossroads. I was I had space down there long ago, um, and at the Arts Incubator, which is now Bauer, um, back in the early days. But um, then I had a space at at my house for a while, you know. And a lot of artists, I think, do that, you know. But I like having um, somewhere separate from my living space. Um, it's both like you know, I, this is physically separate from. There's no distractions like dishes or TV or whatever, you know. Um, and it's also somewhere, it's like if you wanted to have like a studio visit, you know, if you wanted somebody to come to your space, it's not like they're walking through, you know, the home and the dogs are jumping on everybody and whatever, so. Some of them were during Zoom calls, you know, but it's mostly people were unaware that I was drawing them anyway, you know, and that's I kind of, I don't know, it sounds kind of creepy, but it's, <laughs> it's not really, it's just, um, yeah, when, when everything went, you know, everybody kind of got separated, you know, and everybody was like, The way I, you know, got to see my friends and visit was through Zoom, through um, 
you know, the, the, the live things, you know, like we did artist talks or, you know, gallery stuff and it was all live and that was kind of fun though, you know, I mean, it was like I couldn't actually physically be there, but I could watch it, you know. Well, I, I, I start off with like a, like a little sketch or a doodle or something and it's like, um, I don't know, there'll be something about it that, that strikes me as, you know, I, I don't know, I like the composition and then I start to, you know, I do a painting um, of it and and then it's like, you know, I, sometimes I just continue with that piece, you know, with that image, the drawing, then the painting, and then I, I, I do a, I'll do a print. Um, so it's, it progresses and changes. Yeah, I think, yeah, more of like the inspiration, like the, the, the way like somebody was sitting, you know, and the way that the line is drawn. It's very gestural, you know, or, or blind contour, you know, it's just kind of like, you know, and it's it's kind of like it references them, but it's not exactly them. Well, the women that I'm, I I usually paint are, are friends, acquaintances, people that I respect and admire, um, who have had influence in my work, or you know, um, in that manner. So it's kind of like lifting them up, you know, and that, that support. Um, this has not always been easy, you know, and uh, it's, it's just there's difficulties in, you know, the art scene as a woman and, you know, keeping it going. But um, I, I was raised feminist, you know, um, but feminist isn't exclusive to women, you know. Um, I would say my husband is a feminist, you know. Um, the belief that everybody's equal, that, or should be. Not that it actually is. <laughs> I do respect these women. I want to lift them up, uh, celebrate them, you know, and uh, yeah, hopefully that's reflected in my work, you know, that, that I, you know, convey that.